from one of the craziest performance to one of the best performance to one of the greatest transitions to the fans reaction at Madison Square Garden wow okay hello everyone welcome to another episode of the fandom podcast i'm bold one of the craziest talk and one of the f- most trending talk of the internet is Bonner Boy's live performance at Madison Square Garden yesterday and it was crazy man it was crazy I saw some of the craziest transitions and performance ever like so it was really crazy like I was seeing some fans how do we put two in underwears at not really underwears or brazier's at um Bonner boy and the way it was just cool with it though really i don't really really condole it personally but as a performer you just have to give up you give people what they want now um before um Bonner boy's performance there was an interview four days ago a comedy central the daily show which was hosted by south african american trevor Noah, and he really really talked about so many things like from like this is the second time bonner boy was on the show he talked about the last time he was on the show he talked about his album which was coming out african giant which was released at that time it was talked about how the sh- album is crazy with the features that was in from at good african artists and bonner boy was like i uh, some of the quotes i could quote for me was when he talked about um when he saw some of those artists and it was like my mom know you like it was really really funny he talked uh, he talked about how from that time to the, the moment four years ago that Bonner boy has gone wild like so many nominations so many award he won his first grammy award given different 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 nominations around the world and different performances different just so many crazy crazy things they also talked about um Bonner boys um album release date where well, Bonaboy gave an eight of the day people celebrate the most and it's themselves. But well, later on Bonaboy announced that his album is dropping July second and it's titled Love the Meaning and also performed an unreleased song in the album in Madison Square Garden if some of you aren't um aware of that and um yeah like after the show with um trevor no it was at UNO where it was received by some nigerian ambassadors uh to, to just promote on this thing um afghan heritage and was awarded um a plaque of honor as one of the keynotes uh, let's say keynotes to partake africa to the world like really in case most of you are not um aware bonner boy's sound is not afro beat but afro fish and like, i've seen some i've been listening to so many um podcasts and so many um shows on youtube people claiming bonner boy is an afro beat but it's not an afro beat artist it's an afro fusion artist and by afro fusion his sound can be integrated to any kind of music that is what Afro fusion is and also Bonner boy is the first African artist to sell out Madison Square Garden like Madison Square Garden it's like O2 but an iconic um, stage for artists like for someone from Africa, from, from Nigeria, Africa, Portacourt, where he sold out 
such a so the so that the show within one day like it's it's really really historic but according to Bonner Boy, it said it's not really something you can be claiming first in this, first in that. As an African, you've already done it. Already. It's something you shouldn't, someone shouldn't be claiming that you're first in this. And I really, really support him. He's a very, very humble person. And it should be like was claiming while an American would perform in um, Japan and they won't be forced to do this but for Africa it's always forced in this and really really it really made sense when you say like mm, 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 mm. yeah true 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 we are bigger than people should be looking down on us and also um during the week there was also a performance by David o, live at Uwe yeah it was really really great performance and also kind of blicks yeah kind of blicks new song think cuckoo yeah i just listened to the song and wow that song good jam yeah okay that's um from bonaboy also one of the transition people are talking about and you know trans- moving from one particular state to another in a very very smooth manner like people are talking about as a, one of the best transition is moving from sponoto let me just put let me let me say too much to sumba yeah well, i think from the sumba to uh was, to yababa um yaba buluku yeah to me that's one of the best performers but people are talking about sponoto to sumba but i think sumba to yeah, but Buluku was the best um, transition of that night. Yeah, and also the highlight, one of the highlights, like like I said earlier, was when um fans were putting twin blood team and the catch it and put it on his clothing and someone put it on his face and not really his face but his body. Uh, it was really, really 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 crazy and nice 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 performance. If you didn't follow the performance if you didn't follow the live and you didn't check some of the recap seriously you, you should do that immediately if i post post the podcast post it from wherever it is you're watching it from either facebook either um youtube either t- wherever it is just post put a post on it then go watch it just search for it on youtube like it's, it's there it's there on the internet and it's a really 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 lovely performance there was also um something I saw on the internet or about the Kasani when I was talking about um how artists mimic um their songs and what they what they lip sing and yelling. Yeah, the Kasani is right, but uh, uh, there was also some lip syncing in some in some of Bernard Bo- Boy's performance. To be honest. Uh, some performance where it requires um like featured where it was featured in or where it was featuring someone yeah there was some lip syncing but so far so good that I didn't see anyone when it comes to his song like his full songs but that alone like but in general his performance well the live bands the dancers the in moving the way the way he made use of the old stage like man that was crazy man like to me if i was like shit i need to be there i need to be there i need to be there like just next time dude just let me know let me buy the ticket and let me to whatever country it is like just need to see from Nigeria to New York, a country where your a country where your citizens are not dominated dominated but where they are not dominating and both your citizens and both foreigners like shit that was really really crazy man. David Ozone was very really crazy in different I really really give con- um, kudos to every celebrity out there that really really did something to take the nigerian heritage aside now we really have something to show of that this is our country this is our continent this is who we are this is what africa is 
like it's something to do when um when a a celebrity it's it's really something that deserves congratulation like when you see um actors where they sell out where their movies I believe viewed internationally where they are featured in movies that's iconic like it's something the directors the actors the producers the singers the rappers like it's it's something I, I really love that that's why I always say I'm a proud Nigerian forever a proud Nigerian but we all know in case this country you understand that's the norms 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 Okay, and today's hot topic, I'm really going to talk about how TikTok has been helping the entertainment industry. Now, you all know TikTok. Don't don't lie. You know it's you know it's a a a. If I put your phone, I go see TikTok there. Two of us. Uh huh. No, that's true. You know TikTok. Why you saying you don't know TikTok? Well, you you won't call it. Uh. Hmm. Well, we are going to talk about how TikTok has been helping the um so how TikTok has been helping the entertainment industry in general from movies to music. Now let's start. TikTok is a social media platform for creating, sharing, and discovering short videos. The app is used by people all over the world as a medium to express themselves through singing, dancing, comedy, and lip syncing, and also and allows users to create videos and share them across all social media platforms like Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook and YouTube. TikTok videos are really 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 uh, short videos 15 to not less than 60 seconds video. In February 2020 alone the app had 13 million downloads and numbers continue to increase as the pandemic region and till this very moment tiktok has gained a lot of ground the app allows competing competing in different challenges which can 